everybody. Remember last week when we made that container with uh, <laughs> our soap container? This is pretty awesome sauce, right? Well, we're going to make the filling for this uh, with um, a recipe that I've re re remade. So we're just going to make a a bath oil, but I'm going to be using the oils that this particular person really, really loves. This is a thank you gift. And the first ingredient we're going to use is virgin coconut oil. All right, so everything in this has to be completely natural. So the virgin coconut oil quantity is quite a bit because this is a bath oil. We're making a bath oil. And yes, I like to emulsify mine, but I'm not going to do that for this one because that's not something that she uses in her products. It's actually for another soap. Actually, bath bomb maker. All right. So we're going to measure out this fresh pot. 100 grams of coconut oil, virgin coconut oil. Isn't that beautiful? I just love this stuff. I, I eat this stuff. This stuff is so good. Rub it in my hair, fry potatoes with it. This stuff is so, so good. There we go, 100 grams. All right, now, if you live in a warm area, you're not gonna be able to probably make this recipe and market it, but you can certainly store it in a cool place. Um, but yeah, it's still, it's amazing stuff. Now, if you wanted to make this an emulsified bath oil, then of course you would add an equal amount of polysorbate 80. So you'd add 100 grams of polysorbate 80. You might not even need that much. Um, check the usage rate from your supplier and that will tell you exactly how much you need. I've seen recipes that do emulsified with only 20% um, to 70, like 80% oil and 20% polysorbate. So I generally use an equal amount, but that's evidently not not necessarily the only way to go so we're going to measure the rest of our ingredients in here and this is also a bath salt so we're going to add some add some salts to this so we're going to add approximately 100 grams of epsom and 100 grams of bicarb now this is not, okay, let's see if I need this one. do 100 grams of bicarb. Oops, let's say 150. Okay, let's say 200. Just use up the box. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to stick this in the microwave, melt it, and we'll come back. And if I don't have enough oil, if it's not fluid, then um, I'll we'll deal with that when we have to. Oh, we're also going to add 10 grams of coconut powder. There we go. Okay, the next two ingredients are heat sensitive, so we're just going to add them at the end, is our PMS essential oil blend, which we also used in the uh, the cup 
the container. Okay, there we go. So we've got 20 mils of PMS blend and 10 mils of CBD, which is approximately 100 milligrams. 100 milligrams. Okay, let's see what we've got here. A nice fluid product here. Now we're also going to take some, I believe this is blueberry kush. Not blueberry kush, bubblegum kush. And put that in there. A little bit of botanical. Oh, that smells really good. You can smell the terpene. Oh, that smells good. And our essential oils. do so I'm just going to add get this mixture into these pack it in and put it in the refrigerator to cool all right so I just needed to clean the mold so now that the molds are clean and I'm actually going to get my fingers in there a little more intensely use some gloves oops Now, if this sits up on you because it's cool where you are, just pop it back in the microwave and give it a mix. So we, this is kind of like making um, sugars, sugar cubes. Now, I'm going to make enough for that container the natural way and then I'm going to add some polysorbate to it and tint it in some different colors and put some mica on there because I really really like playing with stuff <laughs> but I can go all natural <laughs> although this is really pretty just with that little bit of a botanical in there and that's not going to like be so much in your bath that you're going to be like ick ick it's going to clog ick ick it just isn't now just make sure that you get it all the way down in there otherwise you're going to have little holes in your design pack that baby in really well you guys can see this Now, you can substitute cocoa butter if you're in a hotter zone, but that is a heavier oil, so it is going to feel different on the skin. So if you really like the feel of cocoa butter, that might also be a good substitution in this recipe. I know I have made it with cocoa butter in the past, but this is how I'm making it today because we're still in spring. Um, and my cocoa butter is solid at room temperature around here. Even, <laughs> even on the warmest of days, Victoria's always got a, a breeze going through. So <laughs> it's really not. Okay. All right. I'm just going to use a little scrapey tool to get all of that extra oil cleared off of the places that it doesn't need to be. And we're going to fill in where we need to. And we'll do another row. So have any of you tried CBD products? Have you tried oops, um, cannabinoids? in your bath routine. It can be super duper fun, guys. Like, super duper fun. And I don't mean in a psychedelic way. 
um, even if you just have your own plants like here anywhere in Canada actually you can have four plants growing in your backyard if you want um, or in a in a little greenhousey thing um, it's completely completely legal here so um, even if you wanted to use a whole spectrum like um, butter you can get those 420 infusers and make butters now I use those uh, 420 infuser for um, lots of different types of herbal butters and this is just another herb for me to um, enjoy now that they're legal something I never even considered before um, before it was passed and certainly using things like this topically are not going to um, mess you up at all you're not going to lose your um, inhibitions although Calgon take me away kind of is a thing <laughs> right <laughs> you get in that bath and it's like oh it feels so good um, but physiologically speaking, it doesn't cross the blood brain barrier. So you could use a full spectrum THC CBD bath bomb and it wouldn't hurt you at all. Or, um, I don't believe you'd even have to worry about driving. <laughs> I'm just babbling guys. I hope you know that, right? I don't know. <laughs> uh... All right, so I'm just gonna fill these in. All right. For me, every, every herb has a purpose. I mean, those beautiful digitalis plants can be deadly, but they can also be one of the most beautiful healing plants in the universe. And I feel similarly about uh, cannabis as I'm learning more about it and as I'm getting older and decrepit <laughs> we need painkillers that actually work and that are non um, habit forming I mean anything can be habit forming I mean sugar is habit forming and I have a really hard time with sugar maybe I'll have a hard time with sugar I'm a sugar sugar girl sugar baby all right, so my hands have actually warmed this up to the point where it's almost completely liquid. I'm going to put these in the fridge, and hey I will come back and Welcome show you to the ending of this one. Like. This was the least successful of my three CBD creations. Now, the reason I say that is because it's the highest in coconut oil, and it's hot. Oh, my gosh, it's hot. So... Um, so I would not recommend doing this recipe unless you're going to store it in your refrigerator. And I would not recommend using this kind of a mold because it's far too intricate. And I'll show you what happens. See, there's two projects in here. One is this one. After I let them sit for a little while, they just kind of went bleh. <laughs> but I'll show you what they look like coming out of the mold. Very tricky to get them out of the mold without breaking them. They're not like the round ones, like the medallions or the coins, because you've got all these little tiny leaves. And each one you have to be really careful or it's just gonna break. So, show you how adorable it is. Uh, first time I took them out, I only put it in the Fridge. This time I threw it in the freezer. <laughs> so cute, right? If you want them to look like that, you're gonna have to use a harder butter. I've been thinking about just using an emulsifying wax to see what that will do. Um, and then I don't have to uh, see even even being solid, frozen solid, they break a little. There we go. Uh, but you could rework this, like I said, and just add some of the thicker butters and more of the salts. I would recommend rather than Epsom salt that you add more bicarb. Maybe even turn it into a, a fizzy oil um, and add some citric acid. That reaction is also going to 
uh, be nothing but positive. My little leaves. Now, I'm going to put these in a container and pop it in the fridge. But it's not going to be the container I anticipated it for because that's the soap container. If I pop that in the fridge, then we're going to end up with excessive moisture. That's not going to work at all. So we do what we got to do. Get, get them all out. It's somewhat one piece. Don't they look great? <laughs> um, I got this mold on Amazon. No big deal. Real easy to find. And these are the goodies. Let me bring you, show you the container they were designed for, which is this gorgeous. And the neat thing about it is as you touch it, all you have to do to shine it up is use one of these microfiber cloths and it shines it right back up. How cool is that? Gotta love microfiber. But in here are the other bath bombs I made with extra Epsom and the polysorbate 80. So that was the first video. Um, but these were the first the first tester recipe, which I really, really don't like, <laughs> but they are amazing in the bath. So I'm going to put these in a container and use them because they are strong. They are, they smell amazing and they're so relaxing. They're exactly what I intended them to be, but they have no, um, no shelf life or no stability um, outside of the refrigerator. If you enjoyed this, please click like <laughs> outside. They have no stability outside the refrigerator, um, especially on a hot day like today. There's three baths there, believe it or not. Uh, yeah, super, super awesome. If you can keep it in the fridge in a container, probably one of the best natural bath oils I've ever created. However, it is not shelf stable nor is it something you're going to be able to market, but it is an amazing bath. Just one of these is strong enough to relax your whole body in a full tub. Um, you guys have seen my bathtub. It's a jetted tub. I mean, it's deep and it's, <laughs> it's awesome. So I will put the recipe below, but know that it's not going to set up and I will put the warnings on there as well. It's a terrible recipe, but it feels so good. <laughs> I'm gonna share it. All right, if you enjoyed this, please click like and subscribe and come on back to my soapy kitchen I chose anytime. Things. Bye for now. How cool is that? We're gonna pop these in. Get a few of these. You can get these on Amazon as well. But remember, don't, don't put it on your counter and forget it. Put these in your refrigerator. Bye for now.